Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread it all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, guys, those books are mandatory, especially going into 2021. You have to get your eyes open. Now, basically, I want to thank those who donated to the Cash App, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also those who are shopping at both stores, much love to you, especially for the holidays. Now, guys, of course, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Now, what do we see when we look at the indicators? Volume, XRP, and stable coins. What do we see? That's right. The volume is completely down. So we know on the weekends, we normally pick up. And what I went over, what the Fed's liquidity is definitely shrinking. It shrunk by about $175 billion. So yesterday, the site was down. So we're going to see what they're going to do going forward and how it is, because basically they were doing some updates. So I'm definitely going to check on that. Now, guys, of course, we have back on the 17th, and we have CME Futures on the 24th. I thought they were going to you know, delay it until that Monday, but they're going to move it forward to that Thursday, the CME. Now, also, guys, CME shorts, of course, increasing. So the fact is, like I stated, we're going to get a correction in the stock market this month. Also a correction in the actual cryptos. Just like I stated, back is on the 17th. CME is on the 24th. Now this week that we're moving into, this is a great opportunity for us to hit this 20000 Because basically we're going to get the announcement of the stimulus package. Plus basically they're going to cut that check on Tuesday. So this is a wonderful opportunity for us to finally hit that 20000 And then, of course, we correct and drop down. But definitely this is the week. If we're going to hit it, it'll be this week. Now, guys, let's get into the actual crypto news. Now, we know that stable coins are going to be that foundation to actually bring in the real use cases. But we also know Ethereum is that big piece. Now... The fact is that we have a mirror board, which is live. And basically, I wanted to take the screenshot. It's a mirrorboard.net. You can check it out. But as you can see, Jay Christopher Giancarlo is part of it. So, guys, I've done several videos on a mirror board. This is going to be very, very important, guys, because this is part of the LIBOR, but it's not going to be secured. And we know how the Fed like to play with numbers. So, of course, the Fed is going to have SOFR. But they're also going to have a Maribor to these actual derivative swaps, guys. So definitely make sure you're keeping an eye on us. I'm telling you, this is going to be the biggest piece of the puzzle. You're talking about trillions of dollars, people. Now, we have Brian Brooks says that nobody's going to ban Bitcoin. Of course, does he make that decision? No, he does not. But we do know he's part of the New World Order's plan. Of course, like I stated, he was at One West Bank along with Steve Mnuchin, of course, that was being funded by George Soros. And then he moves to Coinbase. And then, of course, now he's the OCC. So his job is to get those regulation papers moving. And he stated that there's going to be some news come out before the Trump administration ends. So, guys, we have to make sure we be on the lookout. Now, we have this article here. Facebook DM stablecoin is a threat to traditional banking. And is that correct? Of course, guys. Basically, this is all fintech. We know that Facebook is the perfect platform. Look at the user's network, guys. It's close to 3 billion people on Facebook. And the fact is that basically everybody is interacting with each other. So it's not like PayPal, hey, we're going to be doing crypto. No, if you put it on Facebook, it's going to allow people to discuss it. It's going to allow people to engage with it, and that's what they want. This is the quickest way to move in this fourth industrial revolution. They will be able to have conversations, interact, make money, learn about crypto. 
It's the perfect platform. Now, it is very interesting, of course, that Facebook DM is not in the United States. Of course, it is in Switzerland. So that definitely sends up a red flag, especially if they're starting off being pegged to the U.S. dollar. Like, that makes no sense whatsoever, but we know there's a bigger plan. That's the reason why we have to keep our eyes open. Now, we have Michael Saylor says Bitcoin is like LeBron. So, guys, I did that video on Michael Saylor yesterday. I love the guy even more. After doing the research on it, I definitely love Michael Saylor. But definitely Bitcoin is definitely the beast right now. We know Ethereum is right on the heels. Because just like I stated, with Ethereum, you're going to have those trillion-dollar derivative swaps put on Ethereum blockchain. Now, we have the Swiss National Bank and BIS Complete Digital Currency Proof of Concepts. So the central uh, bank digital currencies are definitely going to be attached to the IMF SDR, so therefore they can push that liquidity out directly. And remember, I told you that. Now, we have Coinbase is going to support Spark Token airdrop to XRP holders. So guys, definitely, if you want to, definitely take advantage of uh, the Spark Tokens. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how it plays out and, you know, the price fluctuation. So we would definitely see. But we know XR, that Spark had nothing to do with the XRP price going up. There was a lot of moving pieces, guys, a lot of moving pieces. Like I said, the BitMEX, all the exchanges having issues. And then basically we have uh, the United States moving USDC over to Venezuela it was a, too many pieces going on. It just wasn't XRP, it was XLM, and they were the perfect protocols to use in that government operation. Now, guys, we have NFTs are shaping virtual reality. So definitely, guys, this digital art is definitely going to be big. Just like I said, you definitely have to be able to move on to the hot topics. Of course, we had Bitcoin, then we had altcoins, now we have DeFi, now we have NFT. You have to make yourself versatile and be used to change. MCI, many changes instantly. You have to be able to adapt, especially when it comes to finances. You can't be emotionally attached to anything. You have to move to the things that make sense. Now, we have Hobie Global makes a major investment in Polkadot ecosystem. And guys, we know DeFi is what? The new banking. So it only makes sense. Now, lastly, guys, we have Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, lists a token to help fund efficiency energy projects. Now, guys, what is he doing? Bringing capital, bringing liquidity. When we start seeing big names like this moving to the space, when we start seeing the legacy stock market move over to cryptos, we know that something big is about to happen. We know what's about to happen. Everything is going to be tokenized to do what? Help with liquidity. That's all this is about. So no money is never stuck in one place. Liquidity is going to be constantly moving. No more three to seven days. It's going to be ASAP, which is going to bring so many more opportunities, so many more opportunities as far as investing. It's like I said, the tokenization of real estate is going to be absolutely out of this world. So guys, when we look at technology, just like I said, you definitely have to look at the good and the evil. And that's the reason why you have to educate yourself on technology. So therefore, you don't fall for the devil's tricks, the evil man's tricks. Take, for example, the Federal Reserve. Those who understand money, understand there's nothing wrong with debt if you're using debt to make more money. And those became the millionaires and billionaires. So if you're educated on this new financial system, you're going to be a millionaire, a billionaire. Plus, you'll know the good and the evil side. So basically, when you see the evil side, you know the step aside. So guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and the New Road Order book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, the book links and the crypto links are in the description. Also, the stock channel, guys. Don't forget about the Crypto Teacher stock channel. You have your cobalt, your chip stocks, your gaming, your banking. Also, while everybody's sitting at home, don't forget about the at-home stocks. The C-word, the biotech stocks, don't forget about those. They keep pumping and dumping. 
And also, while everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you'll have a wonderful day.